Right, so I'd like to talk today about how we transfer our footage when out on tour and how we manage to do it if we're doing say a five day tour and obviously that's going to be quite a bit of footage built up so option one I've got my bank of memory cards so I've got a full bank here of 128 gigabyte memory cards so that should be enough a memory card for each day I then have a selection here of 64 gigabyte memory cards 32, 16, so I can use these for the drone or for the handheld camera. So that's option one. Each day, put a brand new memory card in. Option two is I have this RAV power unit. And what this does, this transfers memory card footage onto this external hard drive I've got. I've velcroed the external hard drive to the back of it just to keep it in place. So this RAV power it can transfer the footage it also acts as a wi-fi extender and i can have films or music on the r drive and wirelessly connect my phone and watch the footage or listen to the music so i'll just go through this option and show you what we've got so what we do that's where we put the memory card get a memory card right hopefully there's something on this memory card put the memory card in switch it on now what I can do there's two options I can connect my phone to this device and control transferring the footage or there's a button here SD to USB so if I plug in my external R drive which is the device at the bottom plug the USB in that device is now powered on right let's let's record the screen on the phone Right, so when these lights finish blinking, the Wi-Fi is enabled and I can connect my phone to the RAF power. So let's have a look. Wi-Fi. There it is. Motor Rev RAV. As here you can see my home Wi-Fi there. Right, so here's the app. File Hub Plus. Right, so if I now go into file folder, I've got two options. That's the SD card, and that's my external R drive. So you can see I've already got some files on there. So all I need to do is go to the SD card, DCIM. This is a drift memory card. So what I will do is click on select, and then you can pick what you want. So I could say I want that one, that one, that one, that one. And then at the bottom I've got copy to and that'll ask me where I want to save the footage from this memory card I can either save it to my phone or I can save it to the external R drive so I'm going to save it to the external R drive so if I click on there external storage US it's called a USB disk is the external R drive new folder call it what you want drift test ok and paste and that will now start transferring the footage so the good idea with this is if you're out for quite a few days uh, or there's a few of you out there at least at the end of each day if you've only got one memory card at least at the end of the day you can back the memory card up straight to an external hard drive that memory card is then free to use the next day There you go, transfer complete. I can now go back. And I can click on the little SD card at the bottom.
that's now been removed so I can now inject it take my memory card out and that's done but the other option as I said if you haven't got your phone with you you can just press this button and it will just copy everything on the memory card straight to the external hard drive and that's my setup so I have option one I can use a different memory card for each day of the week or I can use one memory card and I can use my RAV power device to transfer the footage so I hope that helps for those who have asked how we managed to keep all our footage when we were out doing a few a few days touring and there's quite a few of us on the bikes option one memory cards option two is the RAV power I think there's quite a few different versions and brands of these on the markets for basically it's just a file transfer hub just that like this RAV power one it has the option it acts as a Wi-Fi booster and I can also connect a mobile device to it to control it or I can use it to play media from the drives on my mobile device so I hope that helps those who have asked